Welcome to the video today, guys. Today we're going to review our Weeble Dividend Portfolio Spreadsheet. In today's video, we are going to review our deposits, our purchases, and our dividends received. Yes, it's been a while since we've done an update. We've been very busy, but just as we have been busy, so is our money. As you can see, currently we are up $690 in the dividend portfolio, um, and we have... Uh, the potential to earn $712.65 every year. So that's how much our money is going to be generating. And we, you can see that um, as far as the just the unrealized gains, our current profit is 8.4%, but with dividends reinvested or accounted for, our total return is 22.24%. As far as our deposits, for the month of uh, basically September, October, November, we deposited about $400, which brings the total amount of money that we've put in the account up to $6,800. As far as purchases, we added five shares of Verizon to bring our cost basis down to $51.78. We kind of got in Verizon at a wrong time. Um, as you can see, the price is $37. We also added one share of Realty Income Corp back in October at a price of $57.84 to bring our cost basis down to $62.68. We also added four shares of QILD with our dividend money, which that is basically our money, making money, buying things that make us money. Putting that to work, um, we got our cost basis down to $21.08 for QILD. We also made a change back in August to switch up QILD for OXLC, which is Oxford Lane. Um, so we started using our dividend money to purchase that to, to lower our cost basis and to uh, take advantage of the higher yield. So since October, we have been able to add 42 shares of OXLC. Doing that has lowered our cost basis down to $6.32. As far as dividends received, we received a total, as far as dividends go, the total dollar amount for October was $26.49. And then for November, it was $91.62. As you can see, we had a lot of dividend payments for a total of $118.11 for the month of October and November, which allowed us to buy 14 new shares of stocks to add to our portfolio. So this brings us to my favorite chart, this year over year dividend income chart. And as you can see, we are slowly making progress. Each month and every year, we've been able to make more money um, than the previous year. So this is reassuring to see that our money is making more money. And we're basically doing this passive, except for the time it takes to purchase the, the investments and to research the investments. We decided to add Oxford Lane instead of QILD, um, basically just for the income portion of it. But as you can see, um, it is nice that the dividends are paying out as the total returns have gotten pretty good. As you can see, ExxonMobil has went up a lot, but also we've we've been able to get a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars in dividends from the company. We should be getting another eleven dollar payment here in December, but the total return on that is hundred and eighteen dollars. I am really thinking about um, selling. ExxonMobil in December just because um, I feel like I need to take profits on it. I have some ExxonMobil in another account. Um, so I feel like if I can take my money out, I can I can find another stock to, um, to put my money in. Um, the price has gone way up. I, I believe my yield on cost is over 7%, which is pretty good. But I would just hate to see the stock go back down below my cost basis and me miss out on $683. So just a little heads up that I probably will be selling ExxonMobil. Not that um, you, my decisions should not influence your decisions, but I just feel like I need to take some profits um, because I I mean to double your money in two years is, is a pretty good um, return and I would just hate to see that chance of doubling my money disappear. I feel like I need to lock in some gains. And uh, I've had a few other investments where I've went way up and then waited and then uh, ended up losing money or the A went down below my cost basis. And uh, I just feel like it's good to take profits every once in a while. And as you can see, these are the four 
The four accounts we've been um, sharing on this channel as a whole, we are up $756. And our money has the potential of earning $2,072.43 every year. So that's $2,000 of passive income we do not have to work for, which will generate more income, which can buy more stocks, which will make more money. If you've been following the channels for a while, you can see how all the different accounts have kind of changed um, as the year has gone on. And some that were up earlier in the year are now down, and some that were down earlier in the year are now up. Overall, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We are about three years into investing. We've put about $47,000 into these four accounts, which is very impressive to me that we were able to save $47,000 instead of spending the non-useless junk. And it is now worth more money, and it's generating 2000 extra dollars. So remember, this is Sunday Funday, where we review our Weeble Dividend Portfolio, our M1 Roth IRA, our Fidelity Health Savings Account, and our M1 Finance Growth Portfolio, which is shrinking currently. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more investing videos, click the link on the sidebar or one of the links on the screen. Thanks for watching.